Hello everyone and welcome back. Um, my name is Chad Hess and we're going to be looking at a physics problem today. So we're going to be talking about this solenoid with a current being carried up through these turns of the solenoid that creates a magnetic field for the solenoid. Um, and then we're going to be talking about the current that that actually induces around uh, or I guess within this coil that's surrounding the um, the solenoid. So this coil is actually, it's not just one turn, there are little turns in this, but it was kind of hard to draw it that way. So, uh, in order to do that, uh, first of all, I'm going to stand up, I'm a little bit slouched so we can see the full picture, but we're going to go to the board now. So, a few things we're going to need at first. Uh, we're going to need the magnetic field that is being uh, carried through this solenoid, uh, and therefore carried through this, uh, this coil. Uh, and we're also going to need to use Faraday's law, which tells us that the potential difference is equal to uh, negative the uh, d flux, which is a change change of flux divided by dt over time. Um, so we're given a couple uh, constants in the problem. I'm going to put those in red. So we're told that the um, that the resistance. Let me go ahead and erase this here. Give us some more space. I'd like to keep this picture up if possible. So uh, we're told that the resistance of the coil. Resistance. I'll say C is the coil, and S will be the solenoid. So resistance of the coil is, um, I believe it was, yeah, it was 1 ohm, um, the number of turns in the coil, right, is going to be 100, so the amount of times that the wire loops around inside of the coil, the solenoid's diameter is equal to 4 centimeters, the length of the solenoid is equal to 40 centimeters. The number of turns in the solenoid now, which is this number of turns, how many times the wire wraps are on this solenoid, um, that is going to be uh, 400. So 400 times. The frequency of the, of the current here is going to be uh, 60 hertz. And uh, the current inside the solenoid as a function of time, actually, we can write it like this. The current as a function of time. Um, that's going to be equal to 1 amp times the sine of 2 pi times the frequency times the time. So these are our, the values we are given at the beginning. And now our first step is going to be deciding how we want to define or how we need to define uh, the magnetic field that is um, being brought through the solenoid, and now we know, um, you know, we know that a um, a current traveling through the solenoid is going to um, is going to create a magnetic field. So we can see, you know, from our right hand rule, if the current is going up this way, you'll see our fingers curl in. So we see the magnetic field is going to be going out this way, um, and we say this is a relatively long solenoid, as you tend to assume. So we're saying that there's really no um, and then a field outside of the solenoid. So we're just going to say magnetic fields all contained within this here. So in order to do that, um, 